Hello, Earthlings! It is me, Enigma! A figment of your imagination. I am a virus. I have hacked your algorithm here on all social media! Media? Media. Why did I say media like that? Why did I say media? Black Panther! I have hacked! I meant to say media. I have caused dysfunction in the world of social media. I am the cause. Uh, what should I say? <laughs> Hello, Earthlings! I am from a galaxy far, far, far away. Right off Santa Monica Boulevard. <laughs> Hello, Earthlings! I am Enigma. I am from a galaxy far, far away. Known as Experiment 626. I am a virus. I have hacked your systems. And you have not received Chronological order on social media. I meant to say media. Good luck, Earthlings. Don't forget to subscribe and may the odds be ever in your favor. Beauty. <laughs> Secrets. Never say never. Let's get you together. Cheese spelled on Drag 101. Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am giving you the Rainbow Series where I teach you how to be a drag queen inspired by one color of the rainbow. Can you guys tell which color I am? Green! Forgive me. Let me pay my electric bill. Xenos Lapinas! Oh my gosh, guys, we are giving you Bill Nye Science Project uh, Enigma meets David Bowie meets Lady Gaga meets like all of my electronic extraterrestrial dreams come true. Also, you guys have turned it the freak out under the hashtag Star Search. It is really so amazing to see your looks. Here are some of them. You guys keep slaying and inspire me to keep on going and Y'all are slaying it! And again, if you guys recreate this look, I would love to see it under that hashtag star search. Post it on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and I will share it in my next video. If you guys wanna see how I did this look, like this video, don't forget to subscribe, and let's just jump right into the video. Where shall we begin? Hello, welcome back to the rainbow series like I just rambled for 20 minutes. If you guys can already tell, I glued down my brows with four layers and I added some green contacts. Peep these contacts. Since my brows are glued down, I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and powder. They look pretty flat to me. Ooh, that is, today is a good brow day. I'm telling you guys, if you guys wanna do your brows and master your brows and you guys are frustrated, the more you practice and the more your hair is trained to be groomed flat, the better. Because I can tell my brows with doing all this rainbow color drag, she's getting flat. And if I want some flat skin, I will fill in the pores with some powder. Just make sure you wipe your face thoroughly and wash it at night. Let me get that chin. I know you guys are tired of it, but I am going to go ahead with my Krylon Stick TV Paint Stick, a drag queen staple. Check it out. I have left links below to where you can find it. Smack this all over my face. Today we are going full coverage like every other day. Guys, so when you're doing drag makeup, remember the goal is to cut. my god, what just happened to me? The lifesaver of makeup? <laughs> this is so rude. Do you see this? Krylin, get it together. Krylin or Crayola? No, ma'am. Guys, there is so much going on in today's makeup. I actually, in fact, sketched it out. Oh, really quick, I do want to point out when you are applying highlight and you want it to be the brightest, notice I put my highlight directly on my skin, not on top of foundation. So it's true to the color. If I were to have mixed the highlight on top of the foundation, like my chin, you see it's not as bright because I put foundation first and I put that on. But see, this all going to be bright, baby girl. It's going to be all right, all right and bright. Now back to my Picasso sketch. I'm an artist. Okay, so what I did was I took a picture of this David Bowie makeup. Whoever this is, you are gorgeous. And I just Googled a picture and then on top, I 
added my neon um, colors and put a placement. So if you guys want to sketch out makeup ideas, it's a good way just to do it on your tablet or on your phone. There are apps, Facetune it on, because it's a really good way to see what you want to do with your makeup. Let's hope it turns out like this. What's next? What's next? Ooh. See, oh, I didn't put no makeup up here. Let's do contour. Now blend it all together. Let me tell y'all, in doing makeup all these years, the reason why I love dry makeup the most is because the amount of foundation you get to use. <laughs> Who else can relate? Sound off down below. Um, yeah, foundation is like my favorite part of makeup because you just gotta cover everything. Again, as I always say in every drag video, it's always gonna look worse before it gets better. Trust and believe. All right, so as, speaking of drag, I, uh, always and forever, do y'all have a favorite right now? I am obsessed with obviously Plastique. Brooklyn Heights is giving it to me. And um, I wasn't too silky, but she, she got a little attitude now, girl. She need to take a little bio humble pie. Um, who else? Vanjie's uh, doing amazing. Do you guys have any favorites? And you know what? Can I just give the, the queens a platform? If you a drag queen, own it. Comment down below. Let's find some new drag talent in the comments because y'all need to get recognized and I think it's so amazing. I'd love to check out your work and if you a drag queen, you better work. Guys, I'm telling you, you always have to look like a world record egg, okay? See, what I like to just put the Dior Air Flash so it just like kind of melts in the little crevices. She's cute. It's so crazy that the brows are trained. Gosh, I'm gorgeous. All right, guys, I've been obsessed with NC50 in the Studio Finish Palette for my nose. Go ahead and contour this and just go up. I, I don't think I'm gonna have any brows today, but just to help with the nose, why not? Oh my God, this is so much makeup. And as always, I'm gonna go ahead and take my shape tape. Imagine talking like B-Love when it comes to doing makeup. I'm gonna do a makeup tutorial with my shape tape concealer. That's Oprah. Is that Oprah? Yes. Is that where she gets it from? I don't know, but that's how Oprah talks. That's Oprah. But that's how she sounds to me. Y'all want me to be Oprah so bad. <laughs> I love this part. Just cuts the concealer. Guys, all your creams will set you up for success, let me tell you, okay? We're working hard for this look, unlike those white kids in that university. Okay guys, set your concealer right away. I am happy with it. We are gonna layer so much makeup. Oh, and the powder I'm using is good old trusty Airspun. Also, in the comments below, if you guys are watching, comment down below, because I want to know how long you guys have been watching me, and I also would like to know what you've taken away from my channel, what you've learned. Because I want to continue to think of different things to teach you that I've learned. Because sometimes I'm just a, a creature of habit. And I just want to, like, push it and ingrain to you, like, you know, for new for new viewers that come on. But for those of you guys that have been on this journey of life and YouTube, let me know down below. I think it'd be really nice. Guys, notice today, if you guys have seen my, my past drag looks, I have done brows. And I would do that with the creams. But today... I just bypass all that because I'm not gonna do brows today because we're going real crazy with the eye makeup. But if I did, I would have set my eyebrow shape underneath all this powder. When I tell you, if you can't feel your skin breathe, that's what you want. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention my contacts today are by Desio, you can't see, but they are by Desio in the color Wild Green, which I use for my Rihanna transformation with Andel. So these are Wild Green by Desio, if you guys want to know what color I'm using. All right, guys, so now it's on to the complicated stuff, so just bear with me. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Certified the Dynasty palette, and I'm gonna take this color. Tell me this color is not perfect. Can you guys see what it says? Up it! You earn everything! Yes! So we're gonna take Opulence and this beautiful Makeup Forever brush called 242 and just start to blend it out. Opulence, how perfect. It's own. It's own? Um. Opulence, you own everything. Trying to correct my ass on my channel. 
So for this look, I'm gonna go ahead and take regular shadows and use that because I do have these Krylon neon shadows, but the last thing I wanna do is use this to blend out and then it, for it to look splotchy in the black light. So I'm gonna stick to as many shadows with that are non black light. I do wanna note, um, I am pulling my face up. Like, you know, when you're doing drag, you wanna obviously reshape your face. So. What I'm doing is obviously focusing on my real crease right here, but then I'm going up towards my temple. So like this. So your contour is going up, you want your eye shape to go up too. If you feel like you don't have the eye shape for it, that's okay, this is drag. Just go for it and pull it back, honey. Just like this. And if it feels weird, that means you're doing it right. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take this bright sky blue called Grand, and I'm just gonna take a little bit of that that blue because I feel like blue and green are cousins I'm gonna go ahead and take that just for dimension and buff the green out with blue the whole point of, of doing these colors is that is so that it looks dimensional with the black lights on and off so next I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade right here called emerald and my flat brush I go ahead and pack it on the lid you know early on when I started to do my makeup at the club I thought about like how many colors could I put in my eye until I would actually study how makeup is seen at the club. So when you're doing drag makeup or if you're doing club makeup or night makeup, it's not about just how many colors you can punch on the face. I think it matters of how you contrast the the levels of light and dark in the makeup. So you can see I'm using a bunch of different greens. So same goes for like the face and the lips. Like make sure you're kind of emphasizing your contour more or brightening your under eyes more so it doesn't just get washed out. Because imagine if you use like pastels in the club or like at night for like a nighttime event, you won't be able to really see it and it'll just look really, really plain Jane. So when you're doing your makeup, make sure there is contrast between the colors and also on the face so you can get a greater impact and I'm basing this eyeshadow here so my neon can pop on top so since the lightning ball is going on this side I'm gonna perfect this this eye all right so this is where we're gonna do things a little bit backwards I'm gonna go ahead and do my face makeup and then I'm gonna start on the lightning ball so just bear with me all right guys, so this has to be a little bit backwards. I'm gonna go ahead and work on the face before finishing the eyes because as you guys know, I'm gonna go ahead and face paint. So I need to finish my face before applying the actual paint on top of everything because I won't be able to go back and do my highlight and contour. So speaking of highlight and contour, I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face. And as you guys can see, I baked under my eyes with the color that I love using. So I'm gonna contour with Dark Deep by MAC, the Mineralized Skin Finish, y'all know I use in every video. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the cheeks and then just go ahead and marry the highlight and the contour together with a very, very bright blush. I want this look to look beautiful even without the black light, so I'm making the blush super, super heavy. And again, this is drag. So take your brightest blush and make sure that um, your makeup looks good and bright even with the, without the black light. I'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose. Contour, never forget. And then I'm just gonna take my favorite Favorite Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and just make that all smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and like I cut my jaw and my cheek. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my nose contour and you should be left with a beautiful face. Oh my god. Yes, oh my god. So what I did was I found a picture of the iconic David Bowie and I went in ahead and uh, reversed it and flipped it horizontally on Snapseed. That way I can mirror exactly um, what I see. So as you guys know, if you're gonna sketch something out and go with something really, really dramatic, I like to take eyeshadows and go ahead and sketch it out. So I'm marking everything with eyeshadows first and then I'm gonna go ahead and continue to do that and I'm using my brush as kind of like my guide to see how far I should go and I'm keeping everything pretty parallel so you want to make sure that the lightning strike looks parallel otherwise it would look like a squiggly squiggly and it would not be cute and the good thing about using eyeshadow is that you can just dust it off with powder like I'm doing here so this is the star of the show this is the Kryolan water activated black light paints so yes these are activated with water so I'm taking a little bit of fix plus and I also have a little cup of water on the side and I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the orange and I'm gonna go ahead and take this orange and just fill it 
it in and paint it in and this was so scary and as you guys can see now you know why i finished my face because um now i don't have to go back and do highlight blush and bronzer and contour because now we're laying it on top next i'm gonna go ahead and take the blue and on a lip brush and add that blue strike down just like david bowie so this is just pretty much like the neon version of the david bowie um lightning bolt and i'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of the neon yellow and do a dramatic little cut crease i really wish i did have a liner because this really got crusty but um other than that it got the job done and the effect was still there so i'm just taking that on a pencil brush and go ahead and cleaning it up with liner so i'm taking black liner and sketching around it and onto the lashes this is just pretty much standard my benefit roller lash um one of my favorite mascaras ever and the benefit roller liner and marking that black line down the middle to separate the blue i was giving you uf gators okay <laughs> with the green eyes and the orange and the blue but other than that i'm gonna go ahead and continue and finish the under eye so i'm making my eyes a little bit larger and i'm sketching out some green and then gonna go ahead and line that with the liquid pen and then we're just gonna go ahead and smoke it out and continue to detail the liner on the outside and go ahead and take opulence and emerald and smoke it out and just dust off that crease powder and uh fill in your lips i am taking just a purple liner and taking that pink from the uh water activated paints and filling it in on my lips and this looks so cool in the black light and this is how i got this look all right guys so this is what the oh my oh my oh no baby i feel like i'm missing some Thing on the bottom of my eye so I'm gonna go ahead and this is pretty pretty blank so I'm gonna go ahead and take the creams the water activated cryolon paints and take my toothbrush dip it in some water I should do my makeup in the dark I'm gonna take this just like this aha uh -huh. okay now I'm gonna go ahead and flick some on my face cool I feel like I'm in Blue Man Group. So the more watery, like this is kind of like the fun part about it. The more watery it is, the more you can have more concentrated paint splatters. Ha ha. Ooh, look at my body. E.T. go home. This is so freaking cool. It's like I broke a glow stick. And just to check what it looks like, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my bathroom lights. Barely. So cool. So what I'm going to do is going to go ahead and add as much splatter paint and i'll be right back with the finish look all right everyone this is the finished look oh my gosh i got my wig together look at this i got my lightning bolt earrings to match the lightning bolt on my face the breastplate i got some shoelace and tied it around to disguise the breastplate and we are living a fantasy of neon green realness let me show you guys with the lights off Woo! oh my gosh how cute if you guys recreate this look please use the hashtag star search i look forward to seeing your black light neon makeup looks inspired by this week's color green uh leave a comment down below on what you guys want to see next on my channel i love you guys so much don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you all in my next video 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 i'm your basic average girl and I'm here to save the world. You can stop me cause I'm Kim Facebo. Kim Facebo. Kim Facebo. Kim Facebo. Kim Facebo. Wait. Down on this plate. Remix. <gasps> Look at my pants. You can just use my drill. My drill has a green Are you all for real? Are you all for fucking real? <laughs> Action. Sippy, sippy. <laughs> Get this shit out. You, know, you can even say that, like, if y'all don't know, I'm a matcha queen. If y'all been looking at my stories, I've been making matcha every single day. I'm in competition with Sit Matcha. Get out! <laughs> Inspired by Joe Jonas. Yep. <laughs> D.
get those nuts out of my face. I'm sick of lying here all alone and nearly sleep at night. I'm honest, it's boring. One million thousand demons surrounding me. You picking up fight, it's time.